All right, we need answers. <laughs> I need to know how Reagan ends up being the what do you think the leader of this gang. Phone? Pick up already. You could just drop me off. In other here. words, how did he con his way into this situation? It's eight thousand eight hundred ten yen. Oh. <laughs> did he just pay him with snacks? What? What? I was confused. Oh, it's that A grade salt. Is there anything salt can't do? Any problem salt Sir, can't solve? What are you doing out so late in the middle of nowhere? Don't worry, I'm not planning to do anything crazy. But he takes the salt that kid. back with him. What the heck is he doing out here? I mean, they sort of have it under control. It's not like they're in that much danger. But Reagan's presence is always a blessing. <laughs> Would someone be so kind as to explain what was up with this, the salt and the driver freaking out? My massive psychic powers failed to pick up on the meaning of that. The more I watched this opening, the more I realized that it was sort of there the whole time. The question and the answer have been somewhat concretely posed by the opening. It is Viridian Forest, and we are bug catchers. This is all my fault for saying Why does this show make me think of Pokemon so much? Forget about it. Let's just focus on finding a way back, all right? Hmm. But how are we gonna do that? We're gonna have a hard time getting past these level five Weedles, level three Weedles. Moss always grows in places where the sun shines. And Mob, of course, is in all of his talents and intelligence. This way is north. See, this is a time where Ritsu <gasps> helped Mob. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Ritsu is great, and everyone knows that except for Ritsu. Ritsu. <laughs> a lot of good can come out of talking right now. Like a real real brother talk. I'm yes! So yes! That's even better than a bro talk. A bro hug. But it seems we're completely powerless in this room. Oh, there's power canceling magic at play. That raises some questions for the future. But that's okay. We've got Ritsu here with us. <laughs> Here's his chance, right? I can't do anything special without using my psychic powers, but he can figure things out and solve anything. Oh man. Is that so? It sounds like you're pretty proud of him, aren't you? Oh, very He's unbelievably so. proud of him. No he adores him. Admire more. <laughs> this is exactly right. Even after everything I've <laughs> Thank you, brother. There we go. That's a huge relief. It's all love. It's all good. And that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. And I sort of had a feeling that it wouldn't take Ritsu proving himself necessarily to get what he needed out of that interaction. Just having someone's recognition that you admire goes a long way. The it being someone you admire being a crucial part of that. One of the really tricky things about life, there are really powerful traits to be had as a human being. And you can trace a very, very clear correlation between positive, strong, wholesome traits and good actions. But then there is an issue that evolves from that where people who get wise to that can sort of mimic those actions as a way of duping people or tricking people into gaining their trust or support or whatever. So in that sense, often even good traits are disguises for negative traits. But all that to say, generally speaking, one thing that's correlated, I think, with real power and strength is the ability to see and admire the strength and goodness in others. It is the person who is drowning that will grab onto other people and pull them down with them, right? It's not people who are swimming comfortably. Mob, of course, has his own challenges and insecurities, but I feel like for him, it's a little more of a free, open-minded exploration of what it means to be himself. It's less attached to a single representative focal point like Ritsu. He has a little bit broader of a lens that I think makes his pursuit of himself more actionable. Whereas Ritsu's interpretation of I'm only valuable if I'm as good or better than Mob at psychic ability specifically, it's one of the narrowest conceptualizations he could have taken. It's great. You know, I find myself resonating with this story a lot. Who hasn't reduced the analysis of their entire being into one thing that's lacking, right? It's, it's a common mistake. And you know, I think it's not necessarily a bad thing if correctly interpreted. You know, there's something in there that needs to be be addressed then. You know, for Ritsu, it's not psychic abilities, it's a lack of feeling powerful or like feeling like he has agency over his life or feeling like he's valuable enough to his family members or can protect them or something like that, right? There's something in there that's useful that if he were to address that and understand that's an ideal he has of himself and an image he wants to become, there are a lot of great and realistic ways he could pursue that. It's just a truth of life that the vulnerabilities are going to get more focused because those are sort of more binary in their effects. It's like a real risk is life or death, whereas a good thing is a good thing and is probably not death related. And so resources are better directed towards things that actually are risks currently. I actually have a good friend with whom my initial interaction was extremely hostile. One of the difficult things about him for me was that he was a threat. Like he was a lot of things I wasn't. He just was way cooler than me. He was more impulsive, more wild, more free. A girl I was really into was into him. He seemed really capable, confident. And so I resented him and 
we ended up having a physical confrontation and we started to hang out. And, you know, it was a difficult relationship for me at first, but then there was a day or a time when it dawned on me that I was just as much of a threat to him as he was to me just in different ways. And just the realization of that, which I think was happening concurrently for both of us, was enough where we could not be on edge with each other and be giving to each other and our individual gifts multiplied against each other. And it became this really amazing relationship that has lasted quite a long time and a lot of adventures later. And it's a similar thing for me with Ritsu and Ma because what they're looking for is not necessarily what they think they're looking for. They're looking for like life and being who they are and being great and feeling good, conquering their demons. And they're actually gonna be best served by doing that in in a way that's authentic to what they actually are, not who they think they are, who they think they should be, and will be made stronger by each of them having complementary skills and weaknesses, if that makes sense. So there's there's just so much beauty and potential in their relationship. I love it. And Ritsu's reaction makes so much sense to me because I feel like a lot of the time, a step in the right direction means accepting a truth, you know, a truth that's been ignored. And a lot of times that comes as a, a mixed feeling of pain and relief. This is what I've been hiding from and it hurts like hell, but I'm finally able to look at it, you know? Do you plan on taking them in? Making these intruders part of the upper echelon? You're they have a lot of talent. Down. Those middle schoolers will be recruited to the HQ. It's a done deal. Hmm, your right. name is Suzuki, correct? But you have to ignore. I'll be taking them, especially that one. The kid who's in the uniform? I'll we'll be, be taking them? Friends. What does this kid think he is? I'm starting to think it's not a coincidence that he passed the training. He's got the personality for it. Everyone at HQ hates one another. Nothing like the happy family out here. If this is Pokemon, this is Gary. What's going on inside? First things first, you suspicious jerk. Tell us who you are. Oh, sure. And the con begins. Careful. This is uh, better than a gun. You know Way more powerful. I'm completely out of business cards. I do have this salt. Is there something going on inside that building? Stay back. We have nothing to say to some weird outsider. Just get out of here. This confidence is already scaring them. I'm usually informed when something happens, but I haven't heard anything. I'll check again. <laughs> He's about to con this whole group of people. I get the feeling he might be. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Let go of me. Salt you right in the eyes. It's a big gamble on Reagan's part, assuming they don't know that he's not the boss. He's, he's such a kind man. He totally exudes superiority. He's gotta be. <laughs> Basically stating the the con out loud. I don't know. Sometimes people want to be deceived. You know what I mean? He's here. He said this con be back goes deep real month. fast. The gamble continues because. He's gonna meet someone who knows, eventually. So you're the boss around here? Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Oh, come on, don't be modest. The real deal has no need to brag to children. <laughs> and then, like, once people make up their mind about something, once they've been deluded, they'll just continue deluding themselves to keep it. You know, you cross a certain line, it's really hard to go back. I think I was just saying this, right? I was just saying that, like, there's a correlation between solid inner strength and outward behavior but how people can just mimic the outward behavior as a shortcut to success. Putting it like that, it's sort of amazing that more people don't do that, which I guess reflects the fact that it's actually really, really hard to overwrite your, your base natural state or emotional state. Like, it would be really hard to roll up as Reagan into this hostile psychic compound and walk in there after lying about being the leader. I mean, there, I guess there is a real confidence there that isn't faked. I don't know. There's just so many, so many ways life can go. There's just so much potential in people. It's just that it's naturally difficult, but it's there, you know, like the pathways are there. All of the positive traits and shows are things that can be worked on and adopted. It's just that they typically don't come easy. We might actually be able to get through to him. Them too. <laughs> They're also falling for it. kidnapped and brought to this place. We're here totally against our will. The crowd effect also exacerbates it. You're blaming others for this? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Reprimand yourselves. Listen, just because you were ordered to do something, that doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. When underlings start getting too obedient, they're nothing but trash. Hmm. <laughs> this is really selling it. Just tripling down. Even if you're able to rise to the top like that, all you'll see when you look down is the filth you left in your wake. Everyone's just stunned. Amazing he has the space to give them wisdom in a moment like this this guy's in a league of his own in his way he is yeah <laughs> i say we can serve our energy until then they're here just walked in and they're roaming around in a group as always uh -huh. mom is gonna be a little confused by this what the heck are you doing in a place like this oh uh -huh. your little brother's here too uh -huh. what's up <laughs> the casualness so he's kageyama's master and the boss of cloth <laughs> this is our chance I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was sort of confused by the cliffhanger last episode. Are we saved? Seems a little too easy. Lady Psycho Manus is probably gonna check on them. Yep. Time to quadruple down on this lie. 
No, my first defeat. No. Damn it. Well, I'm heartbroken. But the positive is that if I won too much, it would be suspicious. <laughs> my psychic powers are not quite ready. Step aside or I'll take care of you with my green belt and Shorinji Kenpo with a snap. Damn, that's strong! He just saved his life, yeah. You're a spirit specialist. Stand back. <laughs> Mama so so generous with his assessment. This is your chance to free yourselves from this shady organization. So hurry! Leave this to me and my student and go! I wonder if Reagan hasn't given up on himself in some capacity. You know what I mean? Like, he's such a wise dude, and he cares so much about kids and youth, although this guy's not all that young, that it makes me wonder if he feels like he made a choice at some point that, in his interpretation, forever altered the course of his destiny that he can't escape from. Like, there's sort of no use for me, that kind of thing. Because he's got a lot of sage wisdom and an occupation that doesn't reflect it, if that makes sense. There's a story there for sure. You're such a kind man. And the irony is he ends up becoming their master, in a way. It'll be a pretty tough challenge for me, too. And that means... It's up to you. That plan ended quickly of him resting or not fighting. He's but yes, this one. is Let an easy me one. Take care of him. I'll bet he's or is it? Anyone with powers that exceed his before. He's in for a surprise. Everyone thinks that though. So far it's been disappointing. You'll be crushed. Oh, oh, he's a, oh, he's actually Brother, <laughs> Oh wow, actually This is one of Reagan's saved them. special moves. Anti-esper drop kick, specifically espers. Super effective somehow. Master. It's overcame that gravity. Are you going to break the rule? In order to save me, he had no choice. There's a little bit of a self-defense thing going on here. It's not as clear cut. Watching you guys bully an awkward kid who gets discouraged so easily is hard to take, and it twists my stomach. Ooh, Reagan's getting fired up. Then you plan on fighting us yourself, I take it. Let me give you a bit of advice. And some salt. <laughs> salt is the new glass. Stare deeply into this 5 yen coin. <laughs> How foolish. That's odd. I don't sense anything from him. Kageyama's master's He's powers. got something up his sleeve, though. Is he actually an esper? See, they all got their talents. That's what the opening has taught us. Reagan's talents include extreme wit, salt precision, and giant balls. And a good heart behind those balls, too. While you're watching this slowly swing back and forth... <laughs> Simple but effective. In a sense, he did hypnotize him, right? And he certainly punched him. Be careful with that thing! That's a really sharp katana! This is Jugon. It actually started out as a toy oh, sword. If the names of all the characters aren't enough, now I gotta learn the names of their weapons? What do you think of the evil spirits I've collected? Think you'll be able to handle them <laughs> on can't your own? See them. No, really, listen. <laughs> Ethereal bodies technique. He's uh, what's his name? The teacher from My Hero Academia. I was going to try to reason with them while they were shot from being hit, but all I did was piss them <laughs> off. Yeah. He'd never lost to anyone Very in a verbal dispute, no matter who they were. And he's also shameless. It's a powerful combination. They're simply children who failed to grow up. How'd they end up like Very this? observant. Either way, New there's plan. a leader guiding them. Mom, run for it! The leader's nice. giving them something that they need or want. Just like all of us. That's just all it is in life. It's everyone doing weird stuff to fill their weird holes. You can defeat them with psychic powers? Give it a try. What? There's basically nothing alone. Mob can't do with his psychic powers. Oh, damn. Oh no! Well, he's back to normal now. That was quite the hair arc we went on. Damn it! We're dealing with some real great. weirdos here. If they were evil, we'll give it away. I'd be able to exorcise them. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> they are. So just try it. Huh? Did he just disappear as Pokemon? Just blow these guys away! No, don't! Now stop fighting back! I'm the adult, so I'll deal with them. Mod, there's no need for you to stoop to their level. It's a tough one. Yes. He's, He's being right. pulled apart in different directions. Speaking of which, no, stop. speaking of being pulled Don't apart, back, Mom. we just need to run away. What is Reagan's at attachment to this? They can fight without killing. Is he worried that Mob will be corrupted by this? If I can save them, I don't care what happens to the ones attacking me. Murderous intent. Okay, that. Oh, we got slapped out of it. In the end, you're the one who's going to be suffering when things go south. It's okay to run away and save yourself! <laughs> Episode 11, late title card, Master 
leader, multiple meanings. Every now and then, the shows I watch have a way of being surprisingly and specifically relevant to thoughts I've been having. I guess it's just a mark of the fact that they're good, right? Like good things cover universal things well, but I'm torn right now in a battle. And there are external faces on the battle. There are are people and events I can link it to, but the more I reflect on it, the more I realize that actually it's almost entirely an internal battle first, and then the rest is sort of just secondary. It's things I've called into my life because of the internal struggle, because of, I don't want to call them weaknesses because that would be a judgment and I, I'm trying to be accepting of who I am, but maybe things that have been unexamined up until this point. Earlier I was talking about being attracted to people based on things we feel we lack. That applies to fraternal relationships. It also certainly applies to romantic relationships. Although sometimes the form that takes is you're not necessarily threatened by the person you're attracted to, but you're threatened by what you perceive them to be attracted to in areas you feel you are lacking. There are certain kinds of people that will romantically drive us out of our minds, or at least speaking for myself, that's true. And I think very often there's going to be a correlation between what those people are and the things we perceive we aren't, if that makes sense. And I realized fairly recently that I had been thinking about the equation in the wrong direction. So my thinking was, I have a type, and because I'm attracted to that type, I have insecurities about ways in which I don't match that type. And maybe there is some energy that flows in that direction, but I think what is more likely or more powerful is that the type I have, at least in certain ways is a result of insecurities. It's a result of the things in life I'm scared of and haven't yet adequately proved to myself I can conquer. And so I have found myself down a road where I am trying to self-reflect and catch up and strengthen myself mid-battle, which is tough. You know, it's a lot easier to set a dynamic than it is to change a dynamic. And therein lies the dilemma in which I've been stuck for quite some time, because I recognize there's something really important in front of me. There's something so crucial to leveling up my personality, staring me right in the face. And I would be really disappointed in myself if I didn't take all the signs that I was getting from that and use that to become more powerful. That being said, there's a danger to that because I'm in a little over my head. And my base personality is like, don't give up on things you care about. You know, don't give up on things you're passionate about. Bear the pain. Take the hits and be strong enough to move past them and grow through them with no excuses, with no blame, with full understanding of other people and their mistakes and their flaws, even if that means bearing the maximum difficulty. But the advice I get from others is very much in line with Reagan's philosophy of like, there's nothing wrong with not engaging, cutting and running. I feel like Reagan is right in a certain aspect. The circumstances of one's life, the practical considerations are really important. The issue I have with it though, is I feel like in decision-making, there are sort of two necessary components. One of them is that kind of thing, like that practical assessment of what does this do for my life? Would my life be better with or without this thing? What does this do for my happiness and my well-being, etc. But the other component I feel has to be attached to something greater than yourself, greater than things you can decide. Because otherwise you're in a realm of total subjectivity and you run a very huge risk of selfishness and self-delusion. And I think the reason why I bring that up so often these days and why I fight on behalf of that side is not because I think it's more important than the practical side, but because I feel like the practical side generally is given more weight. And so it's tough, you know, people say, you'd be better off, right? Like you'd be better off without the drama. You'd be better off without certain things in your life. And for me, I am like, yeah, that's probably true. But there's also love. There are also bonds. There are commitments, not only to people, but to myself and being better and not using blame or anger as a way out of my own weaknesses and things like that. So it's just more complicated than I think people give it credit. But of course, the weakness of that is that you will get devoured by that if you're not thinking about the practical situation. And that is only a satisfactory outcome if you really are that that person, you know, if you really have no attachment to an outcome, like a Toru figure or Jesus. So long story short, I don't know how exactly I feel about Reagan's philosophy. I feel like at heart is a genuine concern for the kids, which is great. And yeah, they definitely don't want to be lowering themselves to something that's beneath them. But I also can't help but wonder if this is in some way a method through which Reagan himself has been surviving. Perhaps he has been running away from something that he feels he cannot engage with. Excuse me, I saw your sign and thought I'd stop by. Sure. Hey, is this your intro? How may I? It must have been really confusing for Mob at first, not having anywhere to turn to. He did a great job for himself seeing out Reagan. It doesn't mean you're any less of a human than anyone else. There are people who are fast, people who are book smart, and people with strong body odor. You must embrace that characteristic as a part of yourself and continue to live positively. So just be a good person. This was the real glue. I'll show you exactly how to use your powers. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Reagan speaking one of the major themes of the show out loud. He's just such a fun and compelling character in the sense that he has these 
glaring opportunities, let's call them, but also at core is sort of where he needs to be in terms of how he treats others and his outlook in the world. He's just not like, something's not clicking with his wisdom and how he operates, which also is relatable. Uh, master! <gasps> no. Oh my. We're going at a thousand percent. At minimum, kill him, mob. Damn it. <laughs> Ah, uh, hate you. Give me an end credit scene that tells me Reagan is okay, so I don't have to wait until tomorrow. Yes. Master. Master. Ask and you shall receive. Master. Master, please wake up. Next time on Mob Psycho 100. Episode oh, it's the next time. Mob and Reagan. <laughs> this was the master's will. Watching the finale in real time is an excellent decision. Well, that ship has sailed. <laughs>